Welcome back to Danger Morris, very famous YouTube celebrity. It's been a long time since I've made a video. I apologise. I went to Fire Festival with Ryan Goslin and we had to swim back from the Lakayan Archipelago. But here I am. And when I arrived, I had this advert waiting for me on Facebook. My first thought on seeing this was, thank God, finally. I own a lot of timepieces, but I always come up against the same problem. Battery life. This is uh, one of my favourites, the Casio F19W. Um, I don't work for Casio, it's a fine watch, it's uh, water resistant up to a certain uh, depth. You can uh, get lots of dust in it, it doesn't break. It is, uh, controversially, the favourite watch of Al-Qaeda. Um, so it will survive a drone strike. Um, this is a tough watch, but after seven years, the battery dies. You don't know what the time is. Um, I bought this watch um, back in uh, 2010, and I have not known what the time is since 2017. Useless. I've got this, um, this timepiece, uh, but this relies on human kinetic energy. I have to wind this watch. Um, According to my uh, wife, the scientist, a human can only last 8 to 21 days without food or water. So, if I'm lost in the desert with this watch after 8 to 21 days, I won't know what the time is, because I'll be dead, and the watch will stop working. Um, this has a very short battery life. Um, and uh, If it stops, you wind it up, it's no longer accurate. You need another watch to set this watch. It's not going to work. My Casio F19W stopped working in 2017. Useless. But the Sun has a battery life, and I've looked this up, of 10 billion years. So this bad boy is not going to let you down. The Sundial, according to its website, is a contemporary take on a historical model, um, which can be found in the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. Uh, it's built in the same way for 20 years by the Carla family outside Graz, Austria, and precision assembled to international watchmaking standards. Uh, it's solid brass and steel with artisan black ink. I am sick to death of clocks with non-artisanal black ink. It's, um, you know, they're going the extra mile. And it's got a tactile feel. The word tactile means feel, so it's a feely feel. And it has a reassuring weight. And I am reassured by this weight. This is heavier than my other two watches combined. Whenever I feel how light these watches are, I get very nervous. This is real. You know this thing is going to weigh what it weighs. I don't, it doesn't actually say how heavy something has to be before it becomes reassuring, but it is reassuringly heavy. Another important aspect of any watch is its strap. My Casio F19W, as you can see the strap has broken. I was involved in a drone strike with Christina Aguilera back in uh, the early 90s and uh, the strap broke. So uh, this no longer stays on the wrist. Um, the uh, wind-up pocket watch has no strap. So when I want to wear this, I have to attach it with an elastic band. And that's the... Uh, is less than ideal in a formal setting, but uh, it's what you've got to do to wear a pocket watch, so uh, not very good. Um, the Carla comes with this useful little, and you see that just slips over the ear like that, and you just carry it with you everywhere. It's stylish, it's convenient, um, you don't even have to think about it when you're not using it, so this is above and beyond... Uh, the other straps of my watches. For the all-important test of the product, there's all sorts of tutorials for how to use the Carla Sundial online, so I'm going to dive right in and see how it fares.
this is an amazing product. Nine o'clock never came. I didn't have to go to work today. As far as I'm concerned, this is five out of five stars.